If you have been using NX in an integrated monorepo fashion or also with the new standalone app support that we have, you probably used NX plugins. Now, while they're totally optional, they provide a whole lot of value. For instance, they give you generators to scaffold the initial setup, but they also provide executors, which is nothing else than a wrapper around complex NPM scripts. And so those executors hide some of the low level details to provide some dedicated options to make it easier for you to configure stuff. But at the same time, they also give NX a lot of metadata about how you're using those executors, which allows NX to do stuff like automated upgrades of your code base, which obviously provides a huge benefit. But this is a thin line to walk because you want to give people enough flexibility so they can easily customize, for instance, their Webpack config. But you also want to hide on the other side some of the low-level details, which will make it easier for NX to provide tooling around it. And we actually wrote a blog post about that last week. Isaac from our team wrote about configuration files and potholes in your code base, where he goes over some of those details about convention-based versus configuration files. So have a look at that. So in 15.7, we introduced a change to our Webpack config that makes it easier for you to customize it. So if you look at our past setup, we don't have any Webpack config exposed here, but rather it is being hidden behind this Webpack executor. And if you scroll a bit down here, you will see a Webpack config, but that reference is something that is within the Nama React plugin. And this is because we wanted to hide away some of those low level details. You could always configure your Webpack config via these options here. Our new setup is now different. What you see now is a Webpack config that is being generated always at the root of your project. And you can see how it is being composed via some utility functions that we provide. So there's for instance the with NX, which configures your Webpack already with some options that is necessary for the NX workspace. We have a with React, which makes Webpack already behave how you would expect it to behave in a React application. And then you can add your own configuration very easily and how you would probably be accustomed to do it. If you have a look at our project JSON, we still have the executor and the plugin, of course, configured. And you can also provide here options as you did before. But now you also see here this Webpack config, which now points to the Webpack config file that lives in the root of your project. So if for some reason you want to have the previous behavior as it was before, but you would still want to upgrade to the latest version of NX, you can always roll back to the previous behavior by switching the isolated config here to false and then pointing again to the Webpack config file that lives within the React Nawar package. So if you want to dive deeper into this topic, go to our docs. We have a dedicated article about how to configure Webpack in your NX workspace, which also mentions the new configuration what isolated config means and how you can use it and leverage it in your workspace and how in general you can now customize your setup much more easily. So hope this is helpful. As always, let us know in the comments what you think about this new flexibility that this new Webpack config gives you and I'll see you in the next one.